What is your view and what's the Labour Party's view on, on vaccinating 12 to 15 year olds? Well, again, you know, this should be followed by the science. You know, we do have vaccines for things like the MMR and other vaccines that we have rolled out, that people should be given an informed information about that. And if it's considered that that's the right thing to do, then, you know, young people and their parents should be given the option of taking the vaccine or not. But it shouldn't be a compulsory. OK, we know that the JCVI um, recommended that it, that, it, that it doesn't happen. It is being looked at, though. If it was recommended, would you do it? Well, it's, it's up to, I think it's up to young people and their parents on whether or not they get vaccinated, just like it's up to adults. You know, I would encourage people to get the vaccine. My children have had all vaccines that have been available to them as they've been growing up. I've had those vaccines. I've had my COVID vaccine. But I do think that people should be given the information, not by politicians, but by the evidence and by medical practitioners and scientists that have developed the vaccine and making sure that people make an informed choice about their safety and about getting that that vaccine when it's important for them to get it and as you say we have vulnerable groups now that may need booster jabs and therefore we need to have a program like we did with the NHS to successfully roll out the vaccine in the first place so that people are protected. Okay it sounds like what you're saying is that you don't agree with 12 to 15 year olds being told that they need to be vaccinated it's a it's a choice. Not at all. I'm saying that people should be given all the information and the facts. And if if it's deemed through the scientists and the medical advisors, sorry, sorry, sorry. But you just you just you just said it should be a choice of young people and their parents. Yes, an informed choice. You know, I don't think people should be compulsory vaccinated. I think people should be given the information and make an informed choice. And I made an informed choice. I'm a parent myself and I would make an informed choice, but I don't think compulsory vaccinating is the way to get people to do that. I think getting the medical information, the scientists that say, this is how you can keep yourself safe, this is important. I think many people will make the right choice on that. And I think we should be encouraging that. I encourage people to take the vaccine when they're given the opportunity to. And I I think it's important that we also look at the most vulnerable groups and ensure that they're protected through those booster jobs, if, uh, booster jabs, if that's what the medical science and the medical experts say that's what they should be doing. OK, the, the, I think the point I'm trying to get to is that currently it's, it's not an option. Do you think that it should be an option, 12 to 15? If that's what the medical advice and the scientists say, then yes, I think that people should be offered it. I want to ask you about... Um the expectation that 12 to 15 year olds across the country will be vaccinated against COVID. I forget if you have a 12 to 15 year old or if yours are grown up now, I can't remember. Um, but what do you, do you think parental consent should be asked for before these 12 to 15 year olds get vaccinated? Mine are all slightly older than that now, but also, you know, all supporting the, the vaccine rollout as well. I think we should wait for the chief medical officer's recommendations. I think it all sounds very sensible to me, but I think it's right to wait. The chief medical officer is responsible for looking at all of the evidence and giving us the best recommendations in the interests of children, in the interests um, of everybody's health. Yeah, that is interesting that, that, that they will do it in the best interest of children because the vaccine advisory body, you would also argue, would be, do things in the best interest of children. And they said that the, the, the health benefits of, of 12 to 15 year olds being vaccinated are absolutely marginal. Well, that's why I think it's so important to wait for the chief medical officer's advice. I mean, having been a health minister um, in the past myself some time ago, I always took really seriously the advice and the evidence from the chief medical officer and from the team that he had supporting him. And I know we'll be taking this really seriously. And, and I think that is the right thing for us to do, to, to wait for their advice, but also to take very seriously and to accept their advice. Uh, and I hope that's what the, um, the head Department of Health will do as well. The Labour leader, Sir Keir Starmer, has been speaking this morning reacting to the expected approval of the vaccine programme to cover 12 to 15 year olds. Let's have a listen. Well, we'll see what the Prime Minister says um, tomorrow. I think schools are a particular issue. We'll wait to see what the scientists say about vaccinations for 12 to 15 year olds. But if the scientific advice is that it's safe and it's recommended, then we would go with that recommendation. We would also suggest, and have been suggesting, there are other mitigations in schools, such as ventilation, which should have been put in place a long time ago. Many school classrooms um, are not well ventilated. We know that has an impact. That's something practical that could have been addressed months ago. Really, really needs to be addressed as we go into the autumn and into the winter.